Hey guys, so then our eyes are weird here, and uh, after messing with some recording applications on my new computer and the graphics card for about weeks, and I said finally better to make sure I can still keep recording just good. So I'm not using OBS anymore, just in case you guys care about that too much. But um, after, so we've beaten Planes from Hell, so now we're gonna do the wall. And I've done this mission a couple times. I did a recording of it earlier, but the footage is. I also want to view footage on what looks like a 320 by 200 screen, with like the bottom half of it cut off for some reason. Not sure what happened, but I've done some testing and this works out just fine. So let's get started. Uh, expert difficulty, yes. All right. Yeah. Alright, let's turn this all on. So this is your base right now. You get a little bit to start with. Uh, you get 100 gold total, but you only start with 55 of it. And I'll show you what this scenario starts to look like, and I'll move this up. So a formidable defensive uh defensive wall. So beyond this, there's gun turrets. We're about here. Artillery and missile launchers in the back. And then there's even more turrets right around here. Eighty seven fifty one and around this area too. And then there's some more in the base, but you also have to deal with uh, heavy uh, vehicle plants. So, you're going to be losing the units. A lot. <laughs> so don't exactly, you know, be 100% scared to get a little too close if you need to. But first, I'm going to start off with the general plan. Let's get personnel carrier. I'm going to use this for the infiltrators, that way I can go around uh, here, or even here, and take the infiltrators in the back line and see if I can try to disable some turrets or units, so it makes it easier for the push. So let's get one of those. Um, usually you mostly make and repair units and supply trucks because you need you know, mostly repair units to be honest because you'll be taking your tanks will be taking quite a lot of damage because they'll be the main front and you're going to want to keep them at full health so they can keep doing their damage you want to mix in the occasional supply truck and then maybe even a bulldozer to clean some stuff up to get more raw material in the field but mostly repair units, because they will be shooting your repair units and supply trucks too, if they get in range, which is sort is good and bad, because I'm actually gonna make an engineer for roads. It's weird, but I'm going for it. Actually, not really. Let's do this. All right. So something like this, you could try to do something like this. <coughs> You're just gonna need more repair units for later. So I'm just gonna send these up here right now. And because I'm not worried about military units coming so close, I can risk zero speed. Alright, so let's do something like that. Alright, so there's the first line. There'll be some turrets, like I mentioned before, a second line, and then a double layer before you get into the base. So what I'm going to do right now is, over the course of the first five or six turns, 
you want to administer upgrades while keeping a, a few military units out to defend while you upgrade the rest because you don't need the entire force there and it's easier to get all of your military units that you want upgraded in your depots so that way you can send them out right off and you don't need to you know oh now I can send them out because you don't really need all 10 of your you know 12 of your tanks to fight eight weaker tanks so I'm gonna go try to go over upgrades now um, the scout you do get quite a lot of scouts and they kind of double as a flank and cannon fodder so because you don't get too much gold you can't waste you know you can't do something like you know this I wouldn't worry about speed too much, but you could do something like this if you wanted, actually. You know, that way, so artillery... I mean, missile launchers will kill them in one hit regardless, unless you really feel like, you know, this is your best option. But usually you want it to be at least something like this, so that way the artillery, or gun... Uh, artillery, I think, will take more than one shot, because if you leave it like this, 20 hits... Sorry, 20 damage will kill it in one hit. And... I think I'm mostly thinking more of, uh... Splash, like... Ah, I'd say you could probably get away with just doing this, or just like a small minor health buff to... Keep your units at just enough health to run around. But it's not the end of the world if you don't really upgrade your scouts too much. Overall, just armor and hits, maybe once or twice. Don't worry about this. Uh, uh. You, know, you, you can steal one, actually, if you want to. But then in 40 turns, you still have to figure out how to make it work. You still need an engineer for the power generator, you know, fuel truck and storage unit to power the fuel power generator and the materials to build it. Don't even get infantry. So this is where most of your upgrades will be going. Just right into the tank. So, obviously since you're Musashi, your tanks are pretty much the best thing ever. So, going to go into armor hits. So this will definitely buff up your tanks quite a bit so you can resist artillery and missile launcher fire better. You do have an option for th 5 range if you want, so they can reach just over a wall or two and make it easier for them to target some buildings and to get too close to a gun turret and risk getting your repair units out of position. But in my previous playthrough, I didn't end up doing it. I kind of focused on more of a combined arms approach, but you still need to focus more on the tanks. So usually I'll do something like just a little bit of extra attack to punch through the walls and some buildings better. Extra speed, I would get extra speed, this would help out quite a bit and make sure you can position your shots, be shots better instead of just moving like once or twice so slowly that you're not going to get too much anywhere fast. You do have 40 turns, but you don't want to, in any scenario where they have production, you don't want to make it any longer than it has to be. Kind of like uh, Planes from Hell. We really want to try to do what you can to rush those air units plants. So you don't have ground attack planes, you know, preventing you from moving your escort one tile. So to start off, I sort of do... Usually, I think I ran 24, I remember if I ran 24 in my last playthrough. I can actually check the footage if I want, but... I'll just leave it right here to start. Uh, rocket launchers, you get f 7 of these. <laughs> and these are mostly used to clear out mines. After that, they're kind of fodder. So, I usually give them extra speed and maybe even uh, attacker range. Just so they, because eight range will put them on par with artillery, and make it easier for them to hit mines in between the walls. 
And then also if their tanks group up, rocket launchers can hit all of them more effectively. Um, you don't need to worry about the armor and the hits for it. I mean, actually you could even get just one for the hits, because their missile launchers are... Wait, is it seven knights, right? I feel like I should know this already, I've done this before. Yep, okay. Alright, so that means my scout point and the rocket launcher point are correct. Alright. So... So you could even do this. If you wanted to, but I did do this because I had, did have a scout with one HP left. I don't remember the exact circumstances, but... You can do something like this and it'll work out fine. So let's get this. Let's put one in there so the missile launcher doesn't take it out and it actually wait. That would require this. Because it's 30. That's still 30. That's two over. Even. More than one hit. Okay. <laughs> and then give it some extra speed so it can position better. And then the rest of our gold will just go be spent upgrading the tank. Well, we leave most of them in the depot. Because in the first two turns, you still need to kind of clear their tanks and still push up before you start hitting the gun turrets. So it's not like... You still need to beat it by 40 turns, but in, in, a, in a way, you don't need to rush it. You don't need to you know, just beeline straight for the tanks and just go in and expect to win. I mean, in the scenarios where you get gold to start, you want to be using that gold. Maybe like me trying to beat the long shortcut or... You know, planes from hell without any gold upgrades. It sounds like a fun challenge, but... Not really. Scanners don't really need to upgrade these. I mean, the missile launchers have 13 range anyway. And they can see your scanners with their radar, so... And then, most of the... You don't need to worry about really C units, but... Anything else you don't need to worry about. Turrets, you're fine. Don't worry about any, upgrading any of the buildings. Or aircraft. You're mostly just worried about landing units. You could even put hits and armor on the repair unit. Or... The speed so they can get to places faster and... Uh, position, position themselves better to be more safe. And this is something you can go for if you want. I didn't have to worry about it too much when I did it, but... I would worry about the speed because the artillery will kill it in two hits. Uh, getting it to... Yeah, you need to spend... 2, 5, 12... 22 gold just to get a repair unit to survive a missile launcher hit. And even then, it would, the artillery would still kill it in two hits, the gun turret would still kill it in two hits. Actually, not the gun turret, but... Actually, it's, it still would. So, it's not too much worth it to... You can give them an extra speed upgrade, but uh, it's as far as I would put it for the repair unit. You don't need to worry about too much of the supply truck. So I'm going to start operating tanks. So I have 45 gold left. So now that you've got the plan for your upgrades, at least what I've recommended, um, what you want to kind of start doing is sort of moving your infiltrators just up enough to start disrupting the tanks because you still have that personnel carrier working or if you have chosen to do this it's not entirely necessary you can still break the wall and then send her through after but I'm going to try to be more sneaky and disrupt some turrets and get some more experience so I don't lose an infiltrator if it fails so what I'm going to do with the scouts is load them into the, this depot over here and use them to go around here and we'll pull up the grid uh, keep them in these three squares from zero, 11, 10 53 and I'd say 11, 10, 66, and keep them on these right three to the edge of the map. 
This is because if you put it at 109, any further left, and the missile launcher can start taking out your units. So you, you want to sneak them along the edge here. And alternatively, you could go on this side. You know, missile launcher is roughly about here. So you kind of need to hug about right here. And then just go around that way, if you wish. But I find it easier, and easier, not easier, but a little more to mess with the AI. Because if you do, like, uh, go through here, and they'll send a tank or two, an assault gun, and a missile crawler after you. So they'll divert some of their land forces to your scouts. Even though your scouts can't really do much, because they have about six, six gun turrets kind of hovering around the base anyway. And a couple of missile launcher turrets toward the ecospheres. So, it's a nice little distraction, and even if you go all the way around, which I'll do, which is why I also alternatively say you can go over here and put it in the left depot instead, but it's easier for these guys to go in here to get out there faster than, you know, put them all over here and take like two or three turns to upgrade anyway. So, up here is a potential strategy, and over here is one too. I think... I like going around this way because it gives me an easier way to see their whole base and to see if I can strike any connectors or, you know, usually just the connectors to, like, uh, disable a building because cutting off their production will make it easier for you to see the base. So your scouts have a few purposes. Distraction, flanking, and attempting to disable production and cannon fodder. So it's four, actually. So I'm going to send all of them in here. Doesn't matter if they all go over that way, it'll be fine. Turn off the grid. And then I'm going to take all these ones and put them in here. This scenario does take a little bit, mostly because of all the setup you need to do. So I can actually take most of these back in right now. So I can do something like this. So you can leave a couple of these out, and that will pretty much be enough to hold them off with your infiltrators before they even get close. And you'll need to turn this on at some point. Because they do have constructors, but I never had any of them built an ecosphere in my experience. Although you want to try, after you get most of this done, you want to try to get most of what you want in here done. You do want to get this turned on. In case they do start building it. And make sure you upgrade everything. So I've got the rock launchers all upgraded, so I'm gonna leave them out. I don't want to activate all because then they'll kind of just go everywhere. They kind of just get thrown all around the depot. But I'll leave most of the tanks in here. Alright, so nine tanks. Usually you'll start encountering mines right at, I think it's, I want to say 068 above is where you really want to start slowing down for the mines. I'm gonna back these up a little bit. So let's stack up. Just get a nice line that way. Same. Try to get close. 
I can kind of just put this right here. Where's the other scout? you over here. I mean, I could activate all of it, actually, and just kind of drag it by a line. Oh, yeah, I forgot the problem with group selects. So, if one unit doesn't have speed, everyone will stop. That's why I hate pathfinding sometimes in this game. So if they get shot at the risk of getting shot at, they're going the dumbest pass possible. Oh, I forgot. The tanks weren't smart. They kind of just run around. I think they're mostly just here to block you from getting in. It doesn't work too well anyway. I'm gonna bring that in here. Let's upgrade all of those because I only need to upgrade them once. I mean, if I really wanted to, you could probably hold this with just the rocket launchers. It should start encountering mines soon. That oh, whoops, too far. You can also shoot them with tanks and everything else, but don't use infiltrators because it will get them revealed. So I'm just going to fit them all in a nice little file line over here. Because that's how it works. As they get closer, just or at least they if they go start going back a little, try to move up a little just to make sure they're either at one point they're forced to engage with you. Just make sure to uh, keep them out of the way of your infiltrators because you don't want to be shooting your own infiltrators with your um, With your rocket launchers, because they do have the area of effect, and you kind of do want to avoid that. All right, let's bring the repair units up. They yeah, do have a surveyor for detecting mines, but you really can't bring it too close because it'll just get shot at, and not really serve much of a purpose. Looks like they're not being too aggressive. They tend to get a cold, usually closer than this. So, just start bringing this up. Let's get more armored here. Actually, how much do I have left? 15. So if I wait, I can get this up to 5 range. Because that'll be 15 and that'll be just enough to get it to 5 range. Also, if I choose to actually, you know, upgrade this, I'll have 2 extra... You know, 16 armor, 38 hits. And, I did okay with 4 range last time. But 5 range can help, but making sure my vehicles are armored enough to resist it is generally definitely a high priority. Alright, yeah, I'm 
we go with the heads and the armor. Alright, so 14 tanks. In my last playthrough, I had five, four or five left. I think it was five left when I destroyed the ecospheres. Ooh, one turn, yeah. <laughs> that, that's not really an accomplishment, but... Alright, so another landmine. That's a little close. Sentry mode all of them. Let's bring all the repair units right here. Just to kind of... Because even if they get close and fire one shot off, I can just repair all of them. It won't really matter if they damage them. If we if I can get all these scouts organized together, I can... I'm going to uh, disable this tank on the side. Alright, this is now available. Let's bring that up. I mean, they'll see it, but they really don't do too much about it, because... So, I could upgrade the ammo, actually. I say this, though, I, 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 I almost would never need a supply truck to beat the mission. Although I might. So I'm just going to keep buffing the tanks up here. I'm already down to 20. I hit this one turned off because I'm running out of gold. Turn that on. I mean, even if you do see the missile crawler and the assault gun come for you when you're sending the scouts on the flank, I wouldn't try to challenge them, mostly just because if you get in range and you can't kill all of them with your scouts. Usually because the turret, missile launcher turrets are shooting at you and the artillery, so if you go in you'll lose too much. Yeah. I, th I think this is one of those scenarios where the infiltrators aren't too useful. And I've just made cannon fodder. Is that... If they fail, then you really can't get them back. And even in my other playthrough, they didn't play the most, you know, pivotal role in taking out the ecospheres. And what I'm doing there here is that if you remember that one tip, I, th I want to say it's eight or nine, where it's the best way to clear out a minefield is to get a rocket launcher and to start shooting at the ground where you think there's mines, because you generally find a lot. Should be close enough now to get to see the. There's the gun turrets. So there's another one right here because if you look right here, you can kind of see. Uh, let me zoom in on it. You can see how there's a connector attached to the concrete block, and you also see one at the top of this gun turret. So the other wall is up here, and the gun turret is right there. Although in most situations, because you know I've played this mission before, so I know it's there, you wouldn't know it's there. This kind of lets you know something is there. And that you should be careful. Okay, they're all just lining up against the wall. 
So make it too close, the artillery the missile launchers will start firing on me. <laughs> At this point, I might not even well worry about. Just get everyone in here. Because I've got a feeling if we get close enough, they will charge me. Kind of reminds me of Cyberstorm 2. Or if you get close enough, they will just start charging you. Let's just shoot right here, though. No. I think the tank was on top of a mine. Yeah, it doesn't hurt them if they get if they get like an area of effect like the rocket launcher shoots. Actually, I'm pretty sure the rocket launcher is the only technically area of effect damage unit in the game, as far as I know. Yeah, everything else is just single target. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess now you know. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a get ammo for it, and then... Uh, infiltrate, not scanners. Let me make a unit, so let's give the repair unit some... Speed. Is there anything else here that I can sort of do? Mm, not really. I can just throw one gold at something. There. So I could upgrade my current repair units, but I'm mostly just going to use it to bolster newer ones. Alright. I can't upgrade everything, so one more turn and all the tanks are coming out. Actually, I hope this is not even too close right here. Because if one of them gets shot by a missile, I'm going to have to shift it over. Alright, yeah, they're all reacting. <laughs> Alright, now they're getting close. Which means I can send my infiltrators out now. Because the turrets can't reach me and the missile launchers I know have more distance to go. I can do some crazy shit like this. Stable for two turns, and just go right back in. Well, I tried. <laughs> so it's a uh, um I still think ammo is still the last upgrade I need, so hold on, let me stop that. Alright, here we go. And also, I know I did an interesting thing on the last run that you can keep in mind. Is that if a tank or an assault gun is trying to go after your scout and you retreat into the water just enough to where they can't reach you, they'll generally just sit there at the coast and try to attack you. So they can't, um. Uh, they won't be able to reach you and they'll kind of just sit there and do nothing. But I should start seeing this long crawler stuff come up soon. Because they can see me with radar. I 
Alright, that's risky. That's all five spaces. Yeah, they'll probably find it, but I'm just trying to see if I can. Actually, that's probably a dumb idea. I'm just trying to see if I can. Because I think, I don't know if the radars can see me just yet. So that's why I'm trying to do something like that. Because this will kill it. There's a mining station, but there should be a turret pretty much. Also, you want to be careful up here too, because they have another missile launcher of around here. Actually, it's more back here, but it can still hit. So you still want to be hugging the edge in pretty much the ca in most cases when you're using your scouts. And then by the time you push through, the scouts can circle back around. Just make sure you, if you shift click to see what the path is to be safe and avoid having them go way too far out. Alright, so all it takes to. Oh, stop that. Alright, so it just need to be reloaded. Because not all of them can be upgraded, I think, right now. So. I'm trying to make sure all of them have the damage and everything. Yeah, alright, this should be good. So that way I can back up. And that way I'll stand all the tanks out. I need to start building up my raw material to get repair units out. I'm not going to reload them because we'll just use the supply trucks for that. Because I think that was what the rest of the upgrade raw material was going for there was making sure they all have the 16s because I can't do that for every single one but there is one way to check that yep two of them don't have it but now that I've got a better force here let's I'm surprised the infiltrator didn't die, that's actually kind of surprising. I think they're all just trying to huddle up in that corner because they don't have much left. I mean, this will die in a second, so I'm actually not going to do that. Let's back up here. No, I'm not scanning for raw material. Not raw material, but... Um... What's right there? Oh, I just can't shoot there yet. I'm trying to figure out why that was the case. And you can also use the rock launchers that slightly damage the gun turrets. But, that's pretty much what your tanks are for. Because you don't see the artillery yet. up front. Uh, let's move the tanks in the back here. 
And I'll have to move the missile launchers out of the way, so... Keep all the support units close, but not too far back. Because... I'm sure they have a heavy vehicle plant up here that needs to be destroyed. They're not destroyed, at least just disconnected. Because at least if you can disconnect their production, they tend not to rebuild the connector. Also, the scroll speed's annoying because I'm dragging it way too much. Alright, so let's... there we go. I'm going to load it earlier, but it's fine. Alright, hold there. Alright, now I've got pretty much my entire tank line up front. <laughs> hey, you wanna upgrade the attacks? They die in two hits. <laughs> you sound like an infiltrator dying. Oh no, it's that bug. It says I have three, but I've only got two. Yep, that bug is back. Actually, I just never went away in the first place. So I guess I'll explain it. So for those of you who don't know, there's a weird bug in this game that usually has to involve uh, transport units of any kind, APC, see transport whatever and that usually if it takes some if there's something involved with damage whether it be area of effect or it's usually something when it gets damaged by something and something's in it or you hit something with the activation I don't know sure how exactly how it's exactly triggered I know it's something to do with damage that it'll say you have one extra in there but then you hit it and nothing's there Okay. And even if you try to, if you, you don't, so I don't want to be able to put five more infiltrators slash infiltrators in here, but I wouldn't be able to go to six. Because the game thinks there's one in there, even though if you go there, the game says there's nothing in there. So. I mean, as fun as this game is, it has its bugs. And I have seen two more fan-made adaptions to it. Uh, one's called Max Reloaded. And one is uh, something called Max Gold, which is made by us. From what I've seen, what I looked up, it was a group of Russians who played the game together. And they have something called Max Gold. Alright, so here come the missile crawlers. I need to get a range. So let's do that. Yes, I know it's in range. Stop running out there. Okay, so there's a tank, that's good news. So we'll be giving them a little bit of a goose chase here. So, I'm gonna start moving up. So it should be right, usually it's more toward here, so where you start encountering the artillery and just launchers firing at you. So in a way, I always suggest try not to hold back too much, and you know, take damage and then have to repair and then take damage. Because you'll be spending more time doing that, but also be wasting more resources and then, you know, you repair your runs out. You have to go all the way back, you have to repeat resupply it somehow. Usually with supply trucks, but... You know. Because what I think you've seen, I'm pretty passive of a player when it comes to this game. I tend to turtle a lot before I actually go on the attack. So, um, this one's definitely a bit of a change of pace for me. Do 
not shoot at that. Um, so let's. Alright. So there's the artillery. And the missile launcher. Oh, so that's why I didn't get shot. It's just out of range. Alright, so... Keep supporting units right there on the ready. And they're all in this, uh, this, a uh, kind of space bug, I'll call it, where there's here, some, something here and nothing there. I have had another really bad issue in a Kazi game once with it, where in order to create room in a base, I destroyed one of my own scouts, and it was destroyed. But you could click on it still, right click on it, you wouldn't be able to move it. The game still said it was there, but you couldn't do anything with it, and there wasn't a sprite or anything. So, it's weird how this stuff can kind of happen sometimes all right so that turned oh that was artillery so I'm just checking for mines it's not even that useful of a thing anyway there. because if I move up that's gonna start firing on me that's gonna start firing on me so usually I like calling it kind of one big push, because that's kind of how it goes. It's pretty much going to be one big push. All right, let's take that out of the way, out of the equation here. Right here. Oh, no, I can't shoot there, because that'll get me if I move close. Oh, I can't even shoot anyway, but. I want to do with that. Alright, so... Usually it's easier to approach it all at once, or try to take off the turrets one at a time and then just keep moving up. Because I think a lot of this is also making sure your approach is good. So that way if I do that, it only takes three and... Alright. So I'm gonna, you see lots of circles on screen? I kind of apologize right now. Because this game is all about circles. There's an extra one right here that you can't see right now, I'm pretty sure. Nope, those are the radars. The missile launchers are right behind it. So yeah, that is the damage range. Alright, so there's some turrets. And we've got a mostly nice conga line right here. Almost, but we're getting there. Alright, so let's move everything a little bit more up. Move that out of the way. Oop. Forgot this one right here. It's my bad. Alright, so. Just 
make sure everything is in the right position when I just charge. Stop. Hopefully, when the scouts start coming, or scouts, scouts come around here, they'll start sending these units up, and then I can pick them off the of scouts. I know there's one there from previous playthroughs. <laughs> This is mostly using a rock launchers for, so let's get ready to take some damage, I guess. So one, two. So this is where the five range can come in, because so you know one, two, three. You know, I'd have to be here to reach that. I could be here instead and reach it like that. This is alright. You're gonna lose at least one or two just trying to even get there because there's so much firing on you. So here are the other two. So your damage range looks more like this. And that's what you're gonna need to push through. Both continue the subplot of scouts. I could even cut this off if I wanted to, but I'd have to risk all those gun turrets. Which actually thinks I could live stream this if I wanted to, if <laughs> I have to tell people when I'm doing it and all that nice stuff. Oh, I hate that so much. Um, so sometimes when you have the option to halt when the movement's detected, they'll double back and use one speed, even though they're already safe in range. So that's one of the issues with the uh, sometimes the speed system. So I'm just trying to. Yep, see, that'll happen. It's, I think it just flips the sprite, but it's still in link. Alright, so let's get the repair unit up here. So this is where I mentioned the repair unit speed could come in, so I could get this here and make sure I move it back. Yes, what you have to deal with. <laughs> way now so Alan's gonna be gone this one might live So I guess I can show some errors while I'm at it too. Um, be careful of, if you can't make the shot, try not to move the tank. Like you want to have at least one shot in it when it moves up. So something like, you know, this, to where I can break the... Alright, good, there's no mines there. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not running into anything here. And also you want to hit turrets, but also start breaking the line. Like you need to start moving through, so you're not 
Um, I'm just going to get all these moved up so that way I'm not worried about it. Even though the one speed thing is important, they can only focus on one at a time, so it's not like, if you move all your tanks, you're just going to lose all of them in one big push. So. I think this scenario is more of a test of how good of you are at, like, a... Uh, I guess hardly. I want to say reckless assault is probably the best term I can come up with, or best phrase I can come up with here, because it's kind of what it is. And then occasionally you want to turn this on so you know that if you're getting anything in your range, you'll know. So generally you can spread them out to take out the turrets that are in your way initially, but you don't want to uh, keep that big of a line throughout the entire thing. So once you're done clearing most of this out, you want to focus toward one side. So I recommend either going up the left side with all your scouts. If your scouts are coming around this waterway, push up the left side. If they're coming up left, push up the right side. You still want you, you know, keep taking care of most of these turrets. Because if you wanted at least the missile launcher, because this one can reach pretty much way over here, and since the water coastline cuts off right about here, you're going to need to get rid of this, which means you're probably going to end up getting rid of this. So, you might not need to worry about this if you can keep away from it enough, but you'll probably have to kill it anyway. So generally, once you act, so that you start to have a break in the line, get your infiltrators up there and try to start disabling turrets. All right, 25 will be in Earth. So let's just this next supply truck. Actually, just big repair units. I guess all I'm really gonna need more than anything. That and bulldozers. So let's take that off. Oh, I know this sounds weird, but if you're hemorrhaging, f if you want to hemorrhage fuel, you can build things twice as fast. But you won't have any raw material to carry over. So I can do something like this. Because 25 turns will pretty much carry you through to the end of the scenario anyway. So. Alright, so let's watch. Because I don't want to move all these guys up so close because they're going to kill all the repair units. So I really can't fix any of the tanks. And then they'll just keep bat uh, battering on everybody anyway. But you can usually risk one or two if you need to. So let's... Yeah, well, that didn't work. I don't know how they stop sometimes. Like, they'll have most of your stuff in range, but they'll just stop attacking. Or just wait. So let's... Usually, you want to, if you want to get at least something going here, I'd break two wide. Or you can just do one and try to funnel everybody through one of them. But usually, you want to make sure the mines are cleared first. So, do try to fire the rocket in there and make sure you're safe. <laughs> 